I just love rainbows, don't you? They always seem to cheer me up. Hello, Gecko here. This rainbow's given me an idea. I'm going to give my best truck friends a new coat of rainbow paint. Here comes Fiona, the red fire truck. She's the first one through. Let's add orange, yellow, green, violet, indigo and blue. Fiona's never slow, dashing all around the place. She's an emergency rainbow with a smile upon her face. Sammy the yellow school bus is the next to have a go. Let's paint him all the colours of a dazzling rainbow. Sammy drives around the town, his heart filled up with pride. Look at the happy baby mechanicals, all sliding down the slide. Rebecca the garbage truck is quite a dull dark green. Now she'll be the brightest garbage truck the world has ever seen. Rebecca is so colourful, she's looking really flash, cheering up the town as she's picking up the trash. Baby truck is next in line, she's mainly blue and red, but now we'll see what she looks like with rainbow colours instead. Bright and colourful baby truck drives mile after mile, and when everyone sees her, they can't help but smile. Last is Eric the excavator, he starts plain boring yellow. But now thanks to the resprayer, he's a snazzy looking fellow. Rainbow Eric back at work, so vibrant and so bright, cheering up the other trucks on the construction site. You all look fantastic, rainbows just seem to bring a smile to everyone's faces. Thanks very much for joining me at Gecko's Garage today. I'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello everyone, Gecko here. Guess what? I've got a fun day ahead for us, and it's all to do with trucks. Have you ever wondered how all those roads and pavements, and even the school playground gets made? Me too! After all, we stand on it, play games on it, and I've even scraped my knees on it. Ouch, did that hurt. But how does it all get there? Well, today we're going to find out a little bit more about that. And it all starts with trucks. So I'm here at the tarmac quarry to meet some of those very special trucks today. And not just any old truck, oh no! tipping and non-tipping trucks. But what is a tipping and non-tipping truck anyway? Let's go and find out together why these trucks are so amazing at tipping and travelling and pushing and paving. Look! Here comes a tipping truck right now. Can you see it? Wowzers! Look how big it is up close! There are lots of different sized tipping and non-tipping trucks. Look, there's three different sizes here. And because of that, they all have different amounts of wheels. There's loads of wheels on this truck. How many wheels can you see? Now we're ready to go into the quarry and see these tipping trucks in action. But what is a quarry? Well, a quarry is like a really big hole in the ground. And in this quarry, they have lots of special materials that can be used to help make things. How cool is that? So here we are at the quarry, where a digger's waiting to drop stone into the back of it. Stone can be heated up and added to a glue type material called bitumen to make asphalt. The digger scoops from this huge pile of stone and then pours it into the back of the truck where there's plenty of space. 
once the truck is full. It's time to transport the stone to another part of the quarry. The stones can be used in concrete for buildings or as asphalt for roads. Now, here comes my favourite part. Tipping! Yay! Here we go! The truck reverses into position. Then the driver presses a button which makes the roof of the trailer open up. Now, the trailer slowly starts to tip upright. And... Wow! Look at that! It's made a huge mess on the ground. Hey gang, remember the 16-wheeler from before? Well guess what? Even that tips. The tipper body is nearly 11 metres long. And look how high it goes. I bet that's taller than a giraffe. Now that the stone has been dropped off, a digger comes along to clean up and push the material into a nice neat pile, out of the way of moving trucks. Bet Danny the digger would love to meet him. Now, here's a secret for you. See that truck there? Well, and this is just for us to know. That truck isn't a tipping truck at all. Honest, it's actually a non-tipping truck. Isn't that amazing? Now, I bet you're thinking, no, Gecko, those trucks look just the same. Well, here's why they aren't. See, instead of raising the tipper body into the air, this truck has a moving floor. I know, a moving floor. How fun is that? That then pushes the material out of the truck. Non-tipping trucks are used when there might be height limits in the area. Tipping and non-tipping trucks not only transport materials to different places of the quarry, but also onto roads and other sites. Before they do, the truck has to be weighed. Do you know why? I'll tell you. It's so that the truck is safe to drive on public roads. Just like the roads your mum and dad drive you to school on. So, the truck parks up under these scales and the driver presses this button to calculate how much material he's got in the back. Phew! It looks like we're a safe weight and now we're ready to hit the roads. Come on everyone, let's follow him and see where he goes. These workmen are working through the night to pave new roads. And this non-tipping truck has come along to give them the materials they need. The truck backs up onto this paver and pushes asphalt into it, which is the crushed stone from earlier, all heated up. The paver then flattens this onto the ground and a road roller comes along to smooth it into a road. Hmm. Now I don't know about you, but I need to see all that again. So, the asphalt is transported to the paver. Whoa! The paver flattens and presses this onto the ground. Double whoa! The road roller smooths it out even further. And then look at that. Now we have a road. That's amazing. Wait a second. Is that... Yes, it's a tipping truck. It's here to help out. And there we have it. A nice new paved road. Well, I don't know about you, but I've had a great time at the tarmac quarry today. We got to learn all about tipping and non-tipping trucks. And even saw them paving roads. Now, when you play in the playground, you can tell everyone all about the trucks that help make the floor. I'm off now to tell my vehicle friends all about this. Until next time everyone, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Hello everyone. 
One of my oldest friends is visiting us today. Oscar the bus works with his friend Bobby, carrying passengers around town. Here they come. Wow, Bobby's fast. Oh dear, it looks as if Oscar's having trouble keeping up with Bobby. Oscar is slow. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Oscar hasn't arrived yet, so let's take a look at Bobby first. Bobby is big and shiny and new. He can carry lots of passengers and they stay warm and dry inside. There's certainly nothing wrong with you, Bobby. Off you go and pick up your passengers. We'll stay here and wait for Oscar. Hello, Oscar. You made it at last. Let's take a good look at you. Bobby was big and shiny and new. But Oscar is small and rusty and old. His top deck has no roof, so his passengers get cold and wet in the winter. I know you feel tired and sad, Oscar, but I don't think you're ready to retire yet. Perhaps you just need a new job. Why not let Bobby take all the passengers to work and school? And you could become a summer tour bus showing visitors all the sights and sounds of the town. Let's get the mechanicals to fix you up, give you a fresh coat of paint and get you ready for your new job. Go, go mechanicals! I know you're feeling old and tired, but there's no need to fuss. Visitors to an old, old town would love an old, old bus. You won't need Bobby's sat-nav, to find your way around. You've lived right here for 80 years. You know every sight and sound. There'll be time to enjoy the sights because you're slow and steady. And what a view from your top deck. Cameras at the ready. And when each summer's over and the tourists go away, spend the winter at Gecko's Garage. What a cozy place to stay. There we go, Oscar. The mechanicals have fixed you up a treat. You look very smart, and I think you're ready to start your new job. And you have your first customers already, the mechanicals. They deserve a fun trip around the town after all their hard work. I hope Oscar and the mechanicals enjoy their tour of the town. Being a tour bus sounds like a lot of fun, and Oscar is perfect for the job. See you next time for more Gecko's Garage. Bye! There's a new vehicle in town today. Her name's Evie. She's clean and quiet and speedy. Evie's driven a long way today so she wants to stop off at Gecko's Garage for a rest. Oh dear, what's happened to Evie? She was zooming along and now she's slowed right down. She must be very tired. You'd better get over to Gecko's Garage, Evie. Quickly, uh, I mean slowly. Hello, Evie. You seem very slow and sluggish. Hmm, I think you might need refueling. Drive round to our fuel pumps and we'll soon get you sorted out. Right now, let's get you filled up with fuel. Oh, where's your fuel cap? Hmm, that's very strange. I can't see it anywhere. 
How can we fill up your fuel tank if there's nowhere to put the fuel in? Something seems wrong here. Head into the garage and let's have a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Evie turn. Evie looks like a normal car, but where does her fuel go? And no exhaust pipe either. What's wrong? I just don't know. There's something that I'm missing. A nagging little doubt. I'll wake up the mechanicals to check her engine out. Go, go, mechanicals! <laughs> what, what, what's going on? It's empty. Evie, where's your engine? How can you drive around without an engine? Oh, Evie. Oh, E V. E V. Electric vehicle. Of course. E V is an electric car. Instead of a petrol or diesel engine to power the car, E V has electric motors that drive her wheels and batteries hidden under her seats, which store all of the electricity she needs. That's why she's so quiet. She doesn't have an exhaust pipe belching out nasty fumes or a fuel tank because she fills up with electricity instead. Evie, you need to be plugged in to charge up. We have two regular fuel pumps, but no electric car charging point. We'll have to install one. I'll get Florence the forklift to bring the parts over and we can build one. Well done, Mechanicals. That's looking great. The electric charging point is connected to the solar panels on the garage roof that Chelsea the cherry picker helped us to install. Here's the charging cable. Now, where on Evie do we plug it in? Brilliant! Evie has a charging socket hidden in her nose. So now Evie can fill up with clean electricity using energy from the sun. The charging station tells us how full of electricity Evie is. Look at those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She's full up. Fantastic. Thanks for visiting us today, Evie. Have a safe journey. Call in and see us whenever you need a top-up. And we'll see you again soon too. Bye! Hello everyone! We've got a new vehicle to meet today. Maisie the mower is cutting the long grass along the sides of the road with her giant cutters. She cuts the grass nice and short so that vehicles can see where they're going and stay safe. Maisie leaves the rest of the grass and wild flowers to grow tall, so that bees and butterflies have plenty of nectar to eat. That's looking great, Maisie. Now that Maisie has cut the grass verges, she's here at the stadium with an important job to do. It's the Truck Cup final soon, so the vehicles are going to be playing football on this pitch. That's soccer for all you lovely American viewers. The vehicles are over at the garage getting painted up, ready to play in the Truck Cup final. But here at the stadium, the football pitch is very overgrown. It needs mowing right away so that the grass is short enough to play on. 
The pitch is enormous. There's lots of grass to cut. Maisie's mowing the pitch in lovely straight lines. Oh dear, I think I spoke too soon. Maisie's wobbling about and the lines are all wavy. I think something's wrong with Maisie's steering. Oh no, now she's cutting shapes into the grass. Triangle. Circle. Square. Rectangle. Pentagon. Hexagon. And star. That's no good at all. We need to get Maisie to the garage. But she can't drive in a straight line for long enough to get there. This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, go, Helen! Okay, Maisie, let's get you back to Gecko's garage. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's see what we can learn as we make Maisie turn. Hmm, your blades and your wheels seem okay. It looks like it's just your steering column that's broken. I'll get the mechanicals to fix you right away. Go, go, mechanicals! It's hard to get on with the mowing when you can't choose where you are going. You need to mow in nice straight lines in order to be finished on time. The mechanicals have fixed your steering the football crowds will soon be cheering. Get back to the stadium and fast. Then you can cut, cut, cut that grass. Now that Maisie's been repaired, she's making short work of that grass. It's looking great. And following her is Sid the skid loader with his line painting attachment. He's repainting the pitch markings onto the lovely short grass. Well done, Maisie. Well done, Sid. Now Maisie and Sid have finished working on the pitch, everything is nearly ready for the Truck Cup final. Join us next time to watch the match and see which team will win the trophy. Bye! Great work, Chelsea! We'll be finished in no time. Old lamp off. New lamp on. Oh, hello everyone! I'm out and about today with my friend, Chelsea the Cherry Picker. We're busy replacing all of the old street lights with brilliant new LED bulbs. They use much less electricity and last much longer. A cherry picker or boom lift has an extending arm with a basket at the end to lift people up and down. I can move Chelsea's basket from this control panel. 
Would you like to take a closer look? This joystick is the most important control. I can move the basket left, right, higher, and low. Ah! Uh oh! Chelsea's arm is going crazy! I can't stop it! Chelsea, you need to drive us to the garage! Quickly! I think I'm going to be sick! Garage doors open at speed! It's time to help a gecko in need! We need to stop Chelsea's arm. This looks like a job for the Mechanicals. Go, go Mechanicals! Hit the emergency stop button! Phew! Thanks Blue Mechanical. Oh dear. It's good that Chelsea's arm has stopped moving. But now... I'm stuck high up in the air. Hello? Anybody? There must be a way to get the arm down to the ground again. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Chelsea turn. Chelsea has a sturdy base to keep her standing strong and a red emergency button to press when she goes wrong. She's got four wheels to move around, but as far as I can see, the up and down controls are stuck up here with me. I think the only way down is to get this joystick reattached. But blue, green and yellow mechanical can't get up to the basket. This looks like a job for Super Mechanical. Go, go Super Mechanical. Phew! Thanks, Super Mechanical. I thought I'd never get back down to the ground again. I'm glad we could get you repaired, Chelsea. Whilst you're here at the garage, I've got a job for you to do. Can you help us put solar panels on the roof of the garage, please? Solar panels take light from the sun and turn it into electricity. We can use that electricity to help power the lights and the tools in the garage. We can even use it to charge up the mechanicals. It's really good for our planet. Thanks for your help, Chelsea. I think the mechanicals have all earned a rest and a recharge in their new charging stations. And I'll see you again next time! Bye! Hello everyone! It's my day off today. No vehicles to fix and nothing to do but enjoy the sunshine at the beach. The only thing that can make this better is a delicious ice cream. Where did you get those from, Mechanicals? Vicky! Great to see you! One ice cream, please, with sprinkles and a flake. Oh no! Vicky's lost power to her ice cream churn and freezer. That means she can't stir the mixture or freeze it. Hmm, it looks like a problem with Vicky's generator. The generator creates electricity, 
to power the churn and the freezer. We need replacement parts from the garage. But by the time we get there, all their ice cream will have melted. And just look at this queue of mechanicals waiting for ice cream. First, we need a way to churn up this ice cream mixture. Some kind of mixer. I think I've got an idea. Everyone, stop what you are doing. This is an emergency. Celia, Rick, Mechanicals, come with me. The Mechanicals are helping out, so there's no need to feel glum. They'll pump Vicky's ice cream mixture into Celia's mixing drum. Celia churns the ice cream mixture around and around and around. And now it's ready. And... Oh no, it's pouring on the ground! Rick, what are you doing? That's not fresh tarmac. It's supposed to be a chilly and delicious ice cream snack. Of course it isn't working right. Now I know the reason. Celia is doing the mixing, but the mixture isn't freezing. To go and find another freezer might take hours and hours. So let's all call for Super Mech with his super powers. Go, go, Super Mechanical! Wow, Super Mechanical is using his freezing ray to cool down Celia's drum. Let's try again. I can see a keen mechanical with his cone ready and waiting. Come on, Vicky. Now Celia's serving the ice cream to that queue of mechanicals. Let's get you back to the garage to get your generator fixed. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. The mechanicals have all the parts to fix your generator. So you can get back to the beach and serve more ice cream later. Celia was very kind. She really loves to mix. But she should be with the construction crew. They've got a road to fix. Oh dear, those vehicles do look grumpy. They've been waiting at the roadworks for ages. We're back. Thanks for helping Celia and Super Mechanical. Hooray, I think I'm finally going to get my ice cream. Wow. An ice cream from Celia, and another one from Vicky. What a lucky gecko I am. I think I'd better share these. Thanks very much for joining us today. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello everyone! Tilly and I have been doing some repairs here at the school, and now it's time to head back to the garage. The Mini Mechanicals have finished school for the day too. They're waiting for Sammy the school bus to take them home. Here's Sammy now. Hello Sammy. Ooh, that door sounds squeaky. All aboard Mini Max. One. Two, three, four, five. There, you're ready to go. Oh dear, that doesn't sound right. 
poor Sammy can't open his doors. They're stuck! And the mini mechs can't get out! We need to check your electrics, Sammy. Don't try and move. You might make things worse. It's a good job I was passing by with Tilly. We'll tow you to the garage. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Sammy turn. Sammy's doors won't open. The mini mechs are trapped inside. But what's wrong with Sammy? Are all his electrics fried? No, it's just his door at fault. Those hinges are all rusty. Let's get the mechs to take them off and fit ones that are more trusty. Go, go, Mechanicals! Now the old doors have come off, the mini mechs can get out. But now all they want to do is play and run about. Careful now, don't touch that! Watch out for that hole! Red and green mechanical, get these kids under control! Green and red are struggling to keep those mini mechs from being silly. I think that they could use a hand from our friend Tow Truck Tilly. Her cargo bed can hold them safe to stop any more fuss. So we can think of what to do to help Sammy the school bus. We need to replace those old rusty doors with smooth new ones. But while we have Sammy here at the garage, I think we should install a surprise for the mini mechs to make getting off the bus more fun. There, the doors are all fixed. And the mechanicals have added an extra something special. One, two, three, four, five. Let's drive these mini mechs home so they can try out the surprise. I'll follow you in Tilly to make sure everything's working okay. Hee-hee! <laughs> That's right! It's a surprise slide! One, two, three, four, five. What a cool way to get off the bus. Thanks, Sammy. And thank you, Little Mechanical, for the hug. That's really very kind of you. I'm glad you like the slide. And thanks to you for joining us today. I hope you had as much fun as the Mini Mechanicals did. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello everyone! Trevor the Tractor's going to be visiting the garage today. He works down at Number Farm, helping Farmer George with lots of important jobs. Oh Trevor, you do look a mess. I'm glad you came to see us so that we can fix all of your problems. Go, go, Mechanicals! You really work hard on the farm, don't you, Trevor? But you do need to look after yourself properly. Your plough is all bent out of shape. How did it get like that? In the spring, Trevor ploughs the farmer's fields to get the soil ready for planting. He pulls a big plough behind him it looks like hard work. Oh dear, those large rocks have really bashed up the plough. Then Trevor helps to sow the seeds. He pulls another machine that throws the seeds out onto the ploughed soil. Now that the mechanicals have repaired the plough, they need to take a look at your poor trailer. How did that get so broken? In the summer, 
Trevor spreads fertilizer on the crops to help them grow big and strong. Trevor also helps to harvest the farmer's delicious red apples from the orchard. That trailer looks very heavy and full. I think there's too many apples in there. Ah, so that's how the trailer got broken. There, your trailer's as good as new. Now, what about this giant scratch on your paintwork? What happened there? In the autumn, when the crops are ready to be harvested, Trevor uses his harvesting attachment to chop and gather all of the lovely golden wheat, ready to be made into breakfast cereal and flour. Oh no, this tree has fallen over in an autumn storm. Trevor the tractor is so strong that he can drag the tree out of the road so that everyone can get to where they need to go. Look out for that branch. Oh no, it's scratched his lovely red paintwork. A quick respray and your paintwork's as good as new. Now, why does your engine sound so grumpy? In the winter, Trevor has to drive through the snow to take bales of hay to feed the horses. Trevor also goes out onto the country lanes to help cars in the snow. Poor Sophie is stuck in a snowdrift. Trevor clears the heavy snow from the road with his snowplow. And then pulls Sophie up the hill. No wonder his engine sounds poorly after all that heavy work. There, the mechanicals have fixed up your engine, re-sprayed your paintwork, repaired your broken trailer and pulled your plough back into shape. After all those seasons, you just needed a bit of maintenance. But now you're as good as new and ready for spring, summer, autumn and winter on the farm all over again. See you again soon, Trevor. I'm glad we could help Trevor with all his problems. He should come and see us more often. Thanks for visiting us today. Bye.